Do you want to invest in the best ETF in the world? Well, you can't. Welcome back, everyone. I'm just taking a look at Brandon's portfolio here, and woo! Someone started investing in March. I bet he's doing a lot better now with Apple. And if we look down, we've got Nvidia, Powerhouse, Tesla, Tortoise, Virgin Galactic. Ooh, I bet that's taken a hit recently, hasn't it? Volkswagen, Neo. Looks like he's made that connection, so that's pretty good. Bloody hell! It looks like he's a. Uh, looks like he's creating. Looks like he's creating some sort of EV car. The entire portfolio is basically just the EV car portfolio. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Before Canal Tesla supporters, everything looks pretty good. He's got into Microsoft a little bit late. Uh, you can tell because he's down. Might show that in the near future, investing is going to get a little bit harder. Netflix, one whole share of Netflix. Anyone else think that Netflix is on its way down? I know it had like record numbers of subscribers in the recent earnings report, but its EPS was down quite a bit. And there's a lot of competition coming, right? There's a lot of competition coming. I can see Netflix falling off the top soon. Maybe we'll start making that S&P 5 into S&P 4. So yeah, Foresight, Neo, Tesla, Tortoise, Nvidia. It's a beautiful, beautiful tech growth portfolio. You cannot doubt it. And I guess he's got Nike in there as well because he likes shoes. Tesla is the big leader here, and it's the reason why most of the big players have made their big bucks. This is the reason why so many people are chasing the ARK Invest Innovation ETF right now. I will get onto that in just a few seconds, but first, I just want to answer this email from Vlad, which covers a topic that I might have covered last week, or maybe the week before, I can't remember. Everything is molding into one big fucking video at the minute. But Vlad has asked me to explain what's going on with the interface in your stocks with Trading212. And he circled this little bit right here, which is showing the gain loss and the FX impact. Yes, the Trading212 gods have listened and they have made an update pretty quick. This is an excellent update to Trading212 in my opinion, because it's just made those questions about the Forex problem that I spoke about last week much, much clearer. So if we go into Raytheon Technologies right here on my portfolio, we can see that I'm 6% down. And if we scroll down a little bit to the your investment section, we can see that actually I'm not down so much on the stock. But most importantly now is that you can see how much you're losing based on the foreign exchange rate. I think they must have put this in so quickly because of the barrage of emails that they must have been getting because people's returns didn't work out correctly. Well, now you can see it very clearly. The FX rate does make a big difference. It makes a huge difference to some of my stocks. I'll take a few seconds just to look at my portfolio. We're at 11,615. Uh, we're having a bit of a rough week so far. Um, I haven't really been keeping up with the news, so I don't exactly know why. I also haven't deposited as much this week because I've had a few unexpected expenses. Hopefully in a couple of weeks, everything will be back to normal and I'll just start boshing it in and getting that return number back down. The exchange rate is clearly still killing it for me. Um, some of the biggest ones are just down because of the exchange rate. It's so massive. But I must admit, it's really nice to have a great visual on how much you're losing just because of the weaker dollar. It's all there now. So there you go, Vlad. That's what that's all about. And hopefully you'll have a bit more of an accurate reading of your Trading212 accounts now. Ugh, just got back from work. A little bit early, which is really rare. Almost didn't have time to make a video this week. We almost had the first week ever that I haven't posted. It might get a bit harder to post over the next few weeks. Uh, we'll see how it goes though, shall we? Today, I want to talk about one of the most requested ETFs that you can't have. The ARK Invest Innovation ETF is one of the most requested ETFs on the Trading212 community forum. It's currently sitting as the sixth best performing ETF in the world. And even then, ARK Invest is still number one with its Genomic Revolution ETF. I think that's right. Genomic Revolution. Everything between Genomic Revolution and Innovation is basically just cloud stuff. Everything at the top is tech. The reason why people like the ARK Innovation ETF is because it's quite a nice broad diversification across all the tech stocks. Whereas everything in the top five is pretty specific. 
The head of ARK Invest is Kathy Wood, who happens to be number four on my global GILFs list. Kathy has an army of research analysts that have identified some key sectors that they think are going to outperform in the future. These are next generation internet, DNA sequencing, automation, energy storage, and blockchain technology. So they are really invested in all of the hot areas right now. Arguably, they've created the hot areas. Basically, if you see anyone that's invested in Illumina or Shopify or maybe even Tesla, it's most likely that they've just copied Kathy. And lots of investors in the UK want to do this, but they can't. The reason for this seems like a technicality to me. To put it simply, ARK Invest just doesn't have the documentation required to sell in the EU. To trade in the EU, all ETFs need to have a KID form. It's a two-page document that just makes life easy to understand. I don't know why it doesn't, because if it opened up to Europe, it'd get a lot more buyers. But it doesn't, so there's no way that Trading212 or any other investment platform can make it available to us. There are a couple of ETFs that are performing slightly better that are available, like WCLD, which is the Wisdom Tree Computing Cloud one. I think that's the second best ETF in the world. And you've also got QQQ, 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 QQ, which is basically the tech index which performs exceptionally well. But everyone seems to want a bit of Kathy Wood. You can see why, because she's very forthcoming, she's on the TV all the time, and she's basically Elon's best mate at the minute. So she's a really good source for reliable and convincing information about the future of tech. I mean, just take a look at the Genomic Revolution ETF. It's got some absolutely ridiculous companies in it. If you want to get the top growing companies out there right now, you might as well just buy the top 10. It's the same for the ARK Innovation ETF. The top five are some of the biggest companies out there right now. Some of the biggest gainers. It makes sense to just let Kathy Wood do all the research and just buy into this ETF. The past five years show that you can make a ridiculous return and you can wave your dick around right in front of all the dividend investors. But as a UK investor, you can't have it. For a few weeks now, I've been thinking, would it be better for me to just buy the entire S&P 500 and bung it into pies and then weight it the same as the index using Trading 212's auto invest feature. I've run into a few walls with that one, but the main one right now is that the auto invest feature on Trading 212 only accepts 50 companies per pie. So we won't be able to squeeze 500 in there. And then I realized that the ARK Invest ETF is only 43 companies. I can fit that in. So I uh, did it. Here we have the ARK Invest innovation pie with as many holdings as I could. There are a few caveats to this. Some of the stocks in the ARK Invest innovation ETF aren't available on Trading212. They just haven't got around to adding them yet. And also some of them aren't available in a UK ISA. So I also had to discount those ones as well. In the end, I was left with 35 of the 43 stocks that were available in Trading212 from the innovation ETF. And what I did is I went to the ARK Invest FinTech ETF and I just put in a couple of those. So Mercado and I can't remember which other ones were in there. Oh, Adyen as well. They're from a different ETF. But this is pretty close and it follows the ethos of the ARK Invest ETF. All I've got to do now, because it's pretty much weighted exactly the same as the ETFs online, is put some money in. And then I'll be following exactly what Kathy Wood is doing. This mini ETF that I've created with Trading 212's auto invest feature will get you probably 90 to 95% of the same gains that the ARK Invest Innovation ETF will get you. There are some good reasons and bad reasons why you would and wouldn't do this, so let's talk about it. So why would you go through the hard work and spend four hours trying to figure this out if it wasn't just for a YouTube video? Well, this ETF is a tech gold mine, and Kathy Wood has done all of the research for you probably way better research than you could have done. Most people just go to this ETF, have a look it up, and then decide which company they like out of the list anyway. You might as well just do it the same way she does. And aside from the fact that if you're in the EU, you can't invest in this ETF, even if you could, your expense ratio for this would have been 0.75%. This is quite a high charge for an ETF because the Vanguard S&P 500 index is 0.3%, I believe. So essentially by detailing the holdings into auto invest, the theory is you'll be getting the entire ETF for free. Because as you remember, Trading212 doesn't charge a commission. And why wouldn't you do this? Well, logistics wise, um, 
it takes a lot of work. You will still have to come onto the website every month and adjust your pie in the same way as the PDF does, which could be a bit of a ball ache. But in truth, if it's making you that much money, that little bit of work that you have to do is probably okay. But probably most importantly is that a lot of people agree that this ETF is very overvalued. Now I know this is the same argument against tech all the time, but the ARK Innovation ETF is a visual representation of the tech bubble. It's got amazing companies in there, no doubt. It doesn't have Apple, Google, Microsoft, any of those, but instead this is a seriously speculative and high risk ETF. I guess this is the epitome of no risk, no reward. And that's okay to be honest, it's great. What you have to take into account here is that 50% of these companies in here are not making a profit at all. But these companies are also priced like it's 2050. These companies, including Tesla, are trading on the earnings they are projected to make in 2050. That's a long way ahead. And I hate to sound like a broken record, but the last time this happened was 1999. It happened exactly like this. But no one knows what's gonna happen. And I think some of the companies in here are freaking brilliant. It's just not within my risk appetite to make this much money. The ARK Invest website might as well just have no risk, no reward written all over it because at the moment it's experiencing way more reward. But what I should say is that even though I've made this, this is just a demonstration of what you could possibly do with trading 212's auto invest feature. If you are going to invest, please do all of your own research and make sure you're comfortable with the risk that you're taking particularly with something like this. And actually a quick search on Trading212 shows that there are lots of people that are already talking about doing exactly this. And it seems that Treva on the Trading212 forum has created a way more in-depth um, pie than I have. That's brilliant. That's a lot of work gone into that. And look at this, he's even gone into all the other ETFs as well. If you wanted that genomic one, he's, he's made it for you. That's so good. What's his, uh, let me just check his um, innovation one. 10.5 in comparison to 9.1. Yep, so, Tre so Treba has taken a slightly different approach to what I have and he has weighted the ETF uh, much better than I have and he hasn't included any of the FinTech ones like I did. This pie isn't one that I'm likely to use. Maybe one day I might think about it. I, I certainly couldn't get involved in Tesla. Please don't hate me. So this pie isn't one that I'm likely to use. I'm sticking with a strategy at the moment and I'm gonna test it out for probably three years. But maybe one day trading 212 will allow 500 companies to be added to a pie. And maybe one day we'll be able to invest in the S&P 500 index without any fees. You can certainly now bypass the fees of some of the top ETFs out there. Thank you very much for watching everyone. The app I use for investing is called Trading212. If you wanted to get into investing, you can sign up through a link in the description below. If you sign up through that and make a deposit, you get a free share. I think it's up to about 100 quid, but usually, be realistic, it's likely to be one for a tenner. Uh, most of Trading212 seems to be invested in National Grid and uh, Under Armour right now. Please remember that I know absolutely nothing about investing and I have no credentials and you should not do what I say. You should always seek help from an independent financial advisor if you wanted personal finance talk. These videos are simply for entertainment and uh, I, I get to tell you about what I learned that day. But if you did enjoy this video, please feel free to like, subscribe and invest.